To get started with Bagisto, we need to go to the documentation and in this documentation on the left side we have introduction and installation and configuration. There are two options to install Bagisto. Either you can download the zip file or you can have it by using this uh, composer command. So let's quickly get by using composer command. So I will paste it here and while this is installing let's talk about Bagisto. So Bagisto is an open source and free uh, platform to create an e-commerce website. It is built over Laravel and this means you have a full Laravel project but the company which uh, has created this Bagisto called Webcool so they have created a bunch of packages binded into the Laravel to have this all framework kind of things or you can say platform to create a great e-commerce website in a just few minutes so let's just see yeah you can see this bagisto is installed and it's just like installing a laravel application so it's installing everything related packages and some of the dependencies and after installing everything we have our bagisto on our machine so let's open this bagisto with vs code so i will open vs code here and so here is bagisto on our vs code so on this panel you can see we have laravel application and i told you they have created this bagisto on top of laravel so yes you have everything just like you have on laravel this means you don't have to learn something new it's everything you already know so obviously if you know about laravel so yeah you have this .env file and yeah directly we can create a database so let's open sql pro here and in this sql pro i have created a database called bagisto and what i will do i will just going to name the database which is bagisto for here root and then password so after setting up these things you can simply migrate so i will say here php artisan migrate but because when i was testing i already have this so i will say migrate fresh but you don't have to say fresh you just say php artisan migrate if you are doing it first time okay so let's go to the documentation and as it says after installing this you need to set up all these things so yeah we have set up the database we need to set app url connection host and port are already done so make sure we also have uh, localhost colon 8000 so it has to be very specific you must define this as the exact url where you are deploying it so we are on localhost we need to say php artisan serve and it will open on localhost 8000 so we need to give this colon 8000 this is very important so yes after doing all these things we have this uh, tables but just tables is not enough after migrating we need to do php artisan db seed so let's copy that and stop this and seeding is done then we need to say php artisan vendor publish and then after they saying yeah press zero to have everything so if i do this on the zeroth we have hmm publish everything good no problem so we have published everything from here and there are lots and lots of things you can just see that resources themes a major part here is for front end so that's cool web cool <laughs> okay so now we need to link the storage so that we can have the uh, images when we upload on our bagisto then composer auto load so after doing these steps which are very much required and we can then simply execute the server and then we are up to go so php artisan serve hit enter localhost 8000 let's go to localhost 8000 and yes you can see we have this bagisto front end so yeah we have everything like about us uh, return policy and everything is configurable and we will see how we can configure everything so let's just quickly create a new user or a customer so i will just create a customer so sarthak one two three secret one two three 
and register so we have registered a user and yes we can simply log in by using the credentials we have just defined and yeah you can see we are on this uh, authenticated page so here we have profile address when you are buying anything you need to define the address and yeah address you can add it here some of the reviews if you have given wish list and orders so this front end is not just the main part the extremely important and the main part of this bagisto is actually the admin side slash admin localhost 8000 slash admin we will land on this page and here we can use the credentials defined in this documentation called admin at the rate example.com and password is admin123 so admin123 like this and here comes the magical thing so this dashboard is extremely customizable super cool and you don't have to anything so you have just seen that in just a few minutes we are from nothing to have front end to, to have the authentication for a customer to have this quick and easy and lovely dashboard to manage almost everything and this bagisto is super 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 cool why because if you go to the Mm, github maybe if they have no they don't have so github bagisto let's go here and you can see this bagisto has more than 10,000 downloads and yeah oh it's reaching 12,000 downloads and this package has also featured in laravel news which is a great achievement and now this package is gaining more and more popularity day by day if you want to contribute to this package you can contribute there are lots of contributors you want to uh, support or sponsor this package then also you can do something so you can see this package is very very cool again created by webcool and let's talk about the packages composer.json file so this package i am calling it package but it's actually not a package it's a collection of package it's a platform so on this laravel kind of things you can see we have a new folder called packages and in this packages folder they have created packages for every feature so if you want to have customer related things you can go to the customer package if you want to people related things yeah on the PayPal package you have so every package is here and these packages are connected to the Laravel application by using this composer.json file so on this composer.json file you can see they are having required of lots and lots of thing but this is the community package but if you go here yeah replace replace is having these packages which you can find inside the packages directory so you can see we have this laravel paypal as we talked about somewhere laravel customer this is the package you have just seen here like packages and then customer and composer.json you can see the name is laravel customer and which comes here laravel customer so this is how bagisto is connecting its own packages yeah they are defining the namespaces so they are connecting their own packages with laravel so that you don't have to learn new things and if you want even configuration for your e-commerce then you can configure each and every package then you can literally configure everything each and every bit of this bagisto so this is all about introduction installing and getting up with bagisto and in the next episode we will talk about the product and how we can add products on our catalog and then we can show that products on the front end so these are just images they are not doing anything so this is the introduction to bagisto and thanks to bagisto team webcool team so if you like this episode, just give it a thumbs up, share this with, with friends and comment. What's your views on Bagasto? Is it a good package for creating e-commerce platform or there are others? If there are other packages, just let me know and I will create a video on that also. You just need to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn at Bitfumes at Sarthak Savvy. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.